Welcome everyone to episode 39 of season 15 of Imperial Galactic Survival Project Eden version 1.6. Uh, as I promised off camera, I uh, took care of all the rest of the Xerox positions on this planet. Uh, so uh, this planet is mine. Well, mine in the Talon. But we're friends. Um, some of the work I did off camera and one of the things that made conquering the rest of the planet pretty easy, almost disturbingly easy, was that I upgraded the uh, truckster. I took the uh, infrared weapon off the top there and I put one of the two that I looted, plus that one, down here, replacing the gats. So now I got two of the infrared weapons. And I put the get one of the gats up there. Uh, the gat is sort of just relegated now to uh, shooting at uh, soft targets, uh, bugs, and uh, troopers on the ground. Uh, in order to get that extra one on there, I also had to uh, upgrade the uh, CPU. So I got uh, four more t uh, T4 extenders, CPU extenders, and uh, it actually, this actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, these two together, and being close together like that, uh, on those POIs I was able to use these to break the blocks to get to the core remotely, rather than the GATs. And they work so well, they get in there about 10 seconds takes to go through four blocks to get to the uh, core. Even if the uh, guns on the POI were shooting at me, they would never get the shields down before I had the core down, which is uh, quite astounding. Uh, so these two, you know, I originally had them just for taking out the uh, guns on the POIs, and they worked for that just as uh, I thought they would for the same amount of ammo uh, they do it in half the time because there's two of them uh, so taking the guns out it goes quickly as well but taking the core out goes quickly too and that was a bonus and I wasn't expecting that uh, so anyway I'm really happy with the old truckster there and uh, since our planet is now uh, Xerax free, I thought it would be time to move on. I did also sell a bunch of stuff before I went on to clear the planet out. Um, you can see I'm up to almost 4 million credits. And uh, right now all of this is still stuff I picked up from finishing off this planet, so I'm <laughs> collecting another load of stuff. But for now, I think... Time to be moving on. And, uh, let me get... See my shields up? Yeah, we're up. Okay. There's a lot of uh, Xerax in orbit that I want to try to avoid. Okay. And I want to go check it out. Uh, the ocean planet. I like ocean planets, and that's as good a planet as I need to uh, continue my anti Xeraxian battle. And it'll be a good place to make a new a new home.
Nice. I wonder if I really want to know how much Xerox scum there is around. Lots of stuff in orbit here. Most of the Xeraxians are on the other side. This is uh, supposed to be a large ocean planet. Looks like there is a whole heck of a lot of water there. your giant shadow like that. <laughs> Always makes me nervous. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized planet, all right. Let's see, I like to live on the equator, more or less. wonder what this island is like. Xeraxian scum, we have just the usual. And it looks like we got Xerax on that island. Let's see, I wonder if I wonder if this little island is uninhabited. Guns on my ship will take care of them. Feel free to open up any time, guys. Bugs down there. All right, I'll keep the shields up. Turn oxygen off as. This planet has oxygen. Yeah, let's 
see, we're just outside of Xurex territory. So hard when you got a bunch of items stacked on top of each other here. Come on. It's the one I wanted. Right, well, let's do a quick uh, tour of the planet here. Uh, can't obviously map the whole thing out. Maybe we can do a uh, once once around the equator. Head west. Yeah, maybe if I come upon a uh, a lone POI, I'll give you a little demonstration of just how good these weapons are. I'd like to try them against some drones as well. Right. Oh, well, look what we have there. We have a what? Good old resistor. Die. You see how quickly it it works? One of the other things that surprised me was how um, accurate this is. All those places were where I was shooting down um, it caused very little ancillary damage. Blowing up the wrong side there. Ugh, brain hurty. We're gonna be on the side with the stairs. See how quickly this thing just eats through everything. While we're here, yes. 
I've just announced my arrival to the Xerax. Assuming this will be your standard uh, ocean planet with a bunch of resistors all over the place. Alright, let's continue our little jaunt across the planet here. We want to head west. Before you go to Buffalo, to Baltimore, or Borneo, to eastern Pennsylvania, or Sudan. Go west, young men. this out. Alright, it's just your standard helix. Looks like we have drones covering all of the the oars, like a hidden pirate's den, smuggler's hideout. And there's an awful lot of bugs around. Directions. Oh, look at that. What is that? Looks like a drone base. But it's not 
These are some couple new POIs, I think. Haven't seen these before. No shields on either one of them. Haven't been inside uh, one, that one. Or that one. Good. Got some new POIs to play with. It's uh, very nice. Uh, let's get these on the map anyway. Boy, look at the guns on that thing. Maw defense. House of Abyssal. I wonder. Let's see if my range is still going to help me here. My small size is still helping me. Two guys are missing me. Oh yeah, see how quickly we dispatch these guns. This will be one of those places that I'm going to have to go inside. Uh, because I have not... I have not made the acquaintance of the, these POIs. Just disarm it. Like we knocked chunks off of it there. work really nicely. Knocking chunks of it off. They have some more guns hiding underneath here. That looks like an ion. It is. Nailed it. Assume there's one over here as well. Nope. 
lots of bugs. What an interesting looking POI. Lots of critters running around that aren't very aren't very nice. All right. See what is in store here. POIs are always so exciting. Don't know what to expect. Well, you sort of know what to expect, like guns over the doorway and that sort of thing, but... Place looks very artistic. Those four doors must go outside. Which means the only way forward is Interesting. I blew the crap out of this place, so there's... I don't think those openings should be there. Switch there. I may come back to that. Oh, that's not nice. All right, that looks a little dangerous anybody up there. Go down. an odd place to put a spawner on a furnace
Surprise! That's your core. Teleporter. Interesting. Very interesting artistic design. All right. Court our first place here. Now I want to find out. This is what I do. Find out how to shoot straight down to the core. All right, so we got the hole there. Make a note. Gonna be really hard to remember because this place is totally symmetrical, it looks like. So you really wouldn't know what side you're uh, working on. I wonder if. Uh, those other sides had those cones on it. Oh no, there we go. We got the uh, elevator to use that as a uh, starting point. So it's on the side with the elevator and right in the corner there. Elevator corner. Remember that. All right, let me go grab the uh, fuel here and yeah, I won't bother with the bits and bobs. Maybe those and this, of course. A lot of good stuff for those teleporters. All right, let's go back up. I think there's one more space at the very top. Oh, they don't have to worry about the ion cannon. These are hardly worth all that, uh, all the energy you put into it, getting rid of them. Oh, isn't that a pleasant surprise? This is just a landing pad, I think. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah, very artistic designs. It's not utilitarian. All right. That yeah, was interesting. Another interesting looking place there. Let's see, have I already got that on the map? Yeah. A 
Abyssal Comm Center. I'm gonna have to try uh, try that one out later. There's another legacy place. Let's see what we got over here. Just a couple of resistors. Let's head on over here. We're heading more or less west. And let me refuel here. Resistor. Yeah, let's continue. Big Darren Planet. Okay, there's a bunch of Xerxian POIs. Resistors. More resistors. Oh, there's a uh, patrol vessel headquarters. Leads me to believe that there's a patrol vessel on this planet. I'll keep an eye out for that. Just another resistor. Anything on this island? I think showing up anyway.
So I'm over here. Once again, probably a resistor. Oh no, it's one of those uh, weird places that blows up when you shoot it. Not really a POI, more like a defense station. Another resistor. Just fly right over them. I don't care. I got shields. They still can't hit me. Your standard legacy place. We have titanium on this planet, eh? Alright, we've been around the planet. Have to uh, land here and unload. And I need to find a drone base. ASAP, so I can start another building here. Starry sky. Very nice. Alright, let's go down. Get healthy there. Have a little nibble. Burger time! Take a look at the map. Basically, just your average resistor thingies. We do have the comm relay, which was something new. Patrol vessel headquarters. There's lots and lots of resistors. So, what I think I'm going to have to do. Is that a comm relay? Oh yeah, the comm relay was the uh, little round thing that blows up when you breathe on it wrong. Okay, between now and uh, next episode, I'm going to have to uh, map out the planet as usual, find the drone base, and I think ne uh, next episode I'll go straight for it with my new improved truckster. But that's for another episode. As always, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again tomorrow.